Um, just one other thing, uh, Brian Sheriffs, he won't be playing the rest of the year. Um, you know, he he's has still has the symptoms, and uh, you know he came in and saw me today and told me that he just th thinks it's going to be in his best interest. He hasn't been cleared. He's still got the concussion, still got symptoms, but he came to me and just said that uh, you know basically his you know he was going to be done, and uh, just you know whatever he can do to help the team, that's what he's going to do. So that was a decision, you know, because he was still in concussion protocol. Uh, still symptomatic, uh, but he came in to see me, and I just told him I really appreciate, you know, everything that he's done, you know, here this year, and appreciate how, how uh, competitive, uh, you know, he he is, and how much he tried to do everything that he could to help the team win. So, um, so that's that's where I just wanted to share that with everybody and get that out, and uh, you know, because again, the kid is is tough. He. He did the things that he had to do, and I told him, you know, the way he handled the situation, you know, throughout the year, I thought was was uh, outstanding in terms of, you know, being ready to go in that first game and and uh, coming through and, and working and doing the things you need to do. So, uh, you know, it's unfortunate, uh, but he's at peace with himself. Uh, he won't be available because he's still in, you know, concussion protocol and all those things. But, um, you know, he's very appreciative of and glad that he came back and uh, I'm glad that he did come back uh, and he had to me he had a he had a good year you know he went out and uh, uh, did, did a lot of good things you know to help the team try to win um, we talked about that a little bit this morning you know when he came in and I said you know everybody everybody's career is going to end at some point in time and uh, and when it does the one thing that you want to be able to do is walk away healthy and you know he's going to be able to do that and you know I think that he's he's at peace I know he's at peace with himself from the standpoint that uh, uh, you know that he did everything that he could to be the best player and the best teammate that, that he could be um, and that's really you know the thing that's important and you know because like I said, football ends, but now you got to go on with life at some point in time, and and I think he's going to be well equipped to uh, be able to do that and be and be successful. Um, but it's hard, you know. It's hard anytime you, as he said, you play a game since you were this high, and all of a sudden. But like I said, I think with him, you know, he's at, at peace with himself and understands that this is something that uh, he really didn't have any control of, and. Um, it's the nature of the uh, of the sport, um, and uh, like I said, he he's at peace with himself. And he and he, you know I think the one thing is he appreciates what the game of football uh, has done for him as a as a person, and how the the, the game and the sport has helped him grow and develop. As a as a young man, and where that will lead him, you know, now being a father and you know down the road.